Welcome to another edition of JavaScript for you. This morning we're going to start taking a look at conditional statements in JavaScript. And if you've written any of the C language family, you'll see this is very simple and very familiar to what you already know. So I've got the date and I'm getting the time by sending the get hours method to it. And now what I'm doing is I'm doing a simple conditional if, and notice the parentheses, the condition is in parentheses, then in the braces, so I have this condition in a code block, write good morning. So if that's true, I will write good morning. Let's try that out. File, open. It should be true because I'm doing this very early in the morning. So we'll go in here and go to conditionals.html and there it is. Now let's change this a little bit. What we'll do is we'll do an if else. So I'm going to say if greater than 12, write good day. And then I'm going to change this a little bit to be else and we're going to put another code block document dot write good morning and that should work the same way roughly speaking so we'll save that and now we'll come in here and we'll refresh this and we still see good morning because of course this is not true so we don't go in here we go into the else one other thing I can do is I can do an if else if and then finally an else so I can do kind of a three-part conditional if this condition holds do this else if this other condition holds do this second thing else if neither of those two first conditions hold do this final thing if I want something more complex than that I'll do a switch statement which I'll get to in the next JavaScript for you so let's take a look at how this works we'll go ahead and do this reload and sure enough it says good morning I've got it in bold so you can see that I actually executed it and that's really all there is to if else and if el if else if else conditional type statements in JavaScript. So until next time, have fun with JavaScript.